all right so um in the previous video we did introduction of fluid mechanics and we ended it with um, newton's law of dynamic viscosity we studied a formula and of course in this video we are basically going to apply um that's to solving this problem on the board so let's consider the problem on the board it says the space between two parallel plates five millimeter apart is filled with oil a force of two newton is required to drag the upper plate at a constant velocity of 0 0.8 meters per second the lower plate is stationary and the area of the upper plate is 0 0.09 meters squared question says determine the dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity of the oil in stokes if the specific gravity of the oil is 0 0.9 so let's get a mental picture of what the question is saying so we have two parallel plates one is fixed and one is moving with a starting speed okay u is equal to 0 0.8 meters per second not forgetting this is fixed and or stationary is not moving so which means um u1 is simply equal to zero so call this u2 all right so all right so the first plate is fixed therefore its velocity is simply zero it's not movable and the upper plate is moving with a speed of 0 0.8 meters per second simply call that u2 the question says the space between the two of them okay the two of them or the two plates are actually five millimeter apart so we simply have this um, this is actually dy and dy is simply five millimeter which is the thickness of the plate itself now and of course this space is filled with oil and we're given the specific gravity of the oil s was given in the equation as 0 0.9 specific gravity of the oil was given as 0 0.9 okay and so the question says a force of two newtons is required to drag the upper plates so this upper plate is actually being pulled by a force which is actually equal to two newtons all right and uh, we were given that the area of the upper plate as well area of the upper plate so call this a is given as 0 0.09 meter squared so the area of the upper plate was given as 0 0.09 meter squared question is asking us to find the kinetic viscosity and of course the dynamic viscosity okay so this is basically what the whole information is we know our force we know our area we know everything we need to know from here now recall from newton's law recall from newton's law okay we simply said that shear stress is equal to mu du all over dy so all we need to do is obtain um the shear stress obtain the value of du obtain the value of dy okay so du simply means change in velocity du which is change in velocity or change in speed is now equal to simply u2 minus u1 which is the speed of the upper plate minus the speed of the lower plate this implies that du is equal to the upper plate is given um, the speed of the upper plate is given as 0 0.8 meters per second so we have 0 0.8 minus the lower plate is actually stationary that's fixed so which means it doesn't have emotion therefore u1 is equal to zero so you have u1 to be zero so this implies that the change in speed the u is simply it remains 0 0.8 meters per second next is the thickness of the plate thickness of plate okay which is the y and the y is simply distance between the two plates okay that gives us the thickness of the plate distance between the lower plate and the upper plate and that distance was given as five millimeter so we simply convert that to meters which is five by ten to the power of minus three in meter so the thickness of the plate the y is simply five by ten to the power of minus three so if we know these two terms it means we can actually find the u the y so if we do that we are going to have the u all over the y is equal to um 0 0.8 represent the u so we'll have 0 0.8 divided by dy itself is 5 by 10 to the power of minus 3 so we'll have 5 by 10 to the power of minus 3 so this implies that du 
all over the y is equal to so this gives us 160 per seconds okay we have 160 per seconds that becomes du all over dy next is to find from the law uh, we need to find shear stress since we know du dy of course looking for mu becomes easier now but we need to obtain the value of the shear stress not forgetting recall um, shear stress okay which is tau is actually force all over area not forgetting shear stress is force over area this simply implies that the shear stress is simply equal to the force um, was given as two newtons the upper plate is being pulled by two newtons force so force is simply two divide by the area of the upper plate was given as 0 0.09 meter squared okay so put that down 0 0.09 so this simply implies that shear stress is actually 22.2 .2 newtons per meter square that gives us the value of the shear stress so if we know tau and we know du dy we can actually make dynamic viscosity subject if we do that mu is simply equal to shear stress all over du dy it becomes tau divides du dy okay so we simply have this now this is equal to the shear stress was given as 22.2 .2. we have 22.2 .2 divides du dy give us 160 over here so divide by 160 this implies that the value of the dynamic viscosity is simply equal to 22.2 .2 divides 160 that gives us 0 0.139 newton seconds per meter square so this becomes the value of the dynamic viscosity next is to find question also say we should find the kinematic viscosity in stokes so we need to obtain the value of the kinematic viscosity all right so not forgetting recall we said um that kinematic viscosity okay kinematic viscosity no is simply defined as dynamic viscosity all over density so in the first video that is the introduction video on fluid mechanics um we explained um the kinematic viscosity and we gave the formula to be this i will simply post the link of that video in the description below for this video so you can actually watch to properly understand but then kinematic viscosity is given as dynamic viscosity all over density we know the dynamic viscosity but we don't know density so all we need to do is to obtain density in the question we are given specific gravity of the oil as 0 0.9 so if x is given as 0 0.9 and we know that in order to obtain density we need to find the specific weight okay because specific weight of this oil uh, specific weight of the oil wl is simply given as density times gravity so from here we can make density subject and if we do that we open that density is simply specific weight of the oil okay in this case is o oil all over gravity which is 9.81 so all we need to do is to obtain specific weight but we know that there's a relationship between specific weight and um, specific gravity okay so specific gravity which is given to us here gravity s is simply given as specific weight of the oil which we don't know all over specific weight of water and specific weight of water is constant of course i've always said this is simply 9810 newtons per meter um, cube okay that's the specific weight of, a, of water it is always constant so if we make specific weight of oil subject we are simply going to obtain that specific weight of the oil becomes specific gravity of the oil times specific weight of water and this is equal to specific gravity of oil was given as 0 0.9 so we have 0 0.9 multiply specific weight of water is constant given as 9810 so this simply implies that the specific weight of the oil is now equal to so we obtain 0 0.9 multiplies 9810 that gives us 8 829 newtons per meter cube so this becomes the specific weight of the oil 
having no specific weight of oil we can find density of the oil now as simply specific weight of oil divided by gravity therefore density of oil okay becomes specific weight of oil which is 8829 all over gravity and gravity is 9.81 constants 9.81 and this is simply going to give us 900 kilograms per meter cube so if we know the density of the oil we actually know the um, dynamic dynamic viscosity of the oil we can as well find the value of the kinematic viscosity simply dynamic viscosity all over density okay let's do that here i think i can take this off now all right so kinematic viscosity no is now equal to dynamic viscosity gave us 0 0.139 um, so we have 0 0.139 all over all over 900 okay so this is actually equal to 1.54 by 10 to the power of minus 4 in meter squared per second so this becomes the value of the kinematic viscosity and of course the question says we should find the kinematic viscosity in stokes and i said that one stokes is equivalent to um, recall we said that in um, the introduction in, introduction video i said one stokes is equivalent to 10 to the power of minus 4 um, meter squared per second so we are simply seeing 10 to the power of minus 4 already there so it simply means that in stokes kinematic viscosity is equal to okay is simply equal to 1.54 stokes so that becomes the answer to um the given problem all right guys so i hope you find this video very interesting please if you do don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and of course if you have any question at all to ask um, you can do that as well in the comment section or you can send me a dm on my whatsapp and i promise to respond to all your questions in the next video we are going to be doing um considering a situation where we have the plates sliding down and incline and of course we are going to see how um, that motion works all right guys please if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep getting updates when content more on free dynamics keeps dropping i will see you in the next video thanks and cheers